Lately, I haven't been able to focus on my daily task effectively. All I ever thought was to quickly get back into Warframe. It's a good game, and maybe that's why, but I have stopped playing it since Ghost came out, maybe in 2019 or 2020. Rewinding back the time, so I already stopped playing the game. I don't have the same anticipation as I had back in my prime. I tried playing it again a couple years back, but it doesn't work. Everything just confuses me. Even the things that I would have no problem with back then. I don't even know where to start, what to do, how to catch up. Every attempt I have to jump back in was met with a fruitless effort. I always ended up uninstalling the game again and again, either through Steam or Epic Game Store. At least until a couple weeks back. My friend got a new laptop and wanted to try a lot of games. He asked for recommendation and I comply. I gave a lot of titles while playing with him, some I still play like Genshin, while others are games that I know are good but I haven't played in a while, Warframe. He tried both, but ended up falling into Warframe pretty easily, and now stuck in the rabbit hole. Not once have I not seen him not playing Warframe. As a good friend that I am, I helped him play with my old account, and that kinda dragged me back as well. At first I only play to help him, then I get back farming to get stronger, And now, I finally care enough to continue the story. I have a lot to follow up, starting from Railjack and getting my Necromech, which before playing again, I never even heard of. They're cool though, so I immediately went to get them. And it's been great. I look for new frames as well, having fun as I was back then. The story is also tremendously wonderful. The music is also still as appealing as ever, especially the one on the Call of Tempestan. And then I get to New War, the one amazing big content quest that took hours just to finish. New War even changes the game as a whole, making it more about shooters without the ninjas and is definitely a breath of fresh air. The story is also good, it was fun. Not the best, but I cannot also make any complaints. All is great until nearing the end of the quest. Lotus absorbed Bala's power, returning to her old self, or perhaps a newer self. Immediately, she felt a disturbance in the force. She uses her power to protect us while trying to hold off the void. Then, it just fucking came. And what an amazing appearance it was. It flew literally from the void, a giant fucking slab of stone that is literally, and I mean literally, a man in the wall. And I love the lore, design, and even the sounds. It was only called the man in the wall, but the figure is not what one would call such. Incorporating the Vitruvian man by Leonardo da Vinci, it has four arms and legs glued to the giant slab of stone with spiral engravings that may or may not be a written language. Its head consists only of the lower half of an old man, it smiles in lotus face, while the upper is a carving with two hollows going through the back. Is it really a man? We call it such because we have no other way to call it. And that's what I love about this. This is Lovecraftian, true and true. Something that we have no way to call, something unexplainable, something of pure terror. That's something I genuinely love, that I crave to get from horrors. Not ghosts nor monsters, just some unexplainable being beyond a human's comprehension. The man in the wall is one of the better examples of modern Lovecraftian, ones that aren't just 
tentacles or mass of flesh. One thing to note is Lovecraftian just needs to be cosmically larger than the universe and unexplainable to the point of knowing equal madness. It doesn't need a form at all, more so a form of an octopus which we are already very familiar with. Another example for this amazing trope is the marker from Dead Space, which seemingly just a giant artifact that we don't know the point of. Just the fact that they are behind the horrors is all there is that we know of. At least until the third installment that finally shows Brother Moons. And it was fine at first, a cosmic being and whatnot, but they ended up telling what they are up to instead of letting us fill in the blanks ourselves, leaving everything to speculation. But I'm not here to talk about that space. Anyway, the man in the wall follows this Lovecraftian rule so deeply, that being someone or something so terrifying that those who manage to even know of it are exposed to madness, or succumb to a fate better yet than knowing death. That's at least what a YouTube commenter said on one of the videos about it. And I would presume such as well, according to the lore of Albrecht Entrati, who made a device just so his immortal body can die. Another thing that I love about this is how it was presented. It flew out of nowhere, almost so fast like a brick flying to your face. It has gargantuan size that only his neck upwards is the size of the whole arena. Its deep, bassy voice spitting out cryptic words of unknown meaning that shook the entire field. It shook my speaker off, like my whole desk is shaking. Almost like back when Yormungandr from God of War spoke. Shows just how huge the size of this slab of stone is. It's a fucking giant. As it drew close, colors were absorbed out, leaving us only with a black and white. And the music rises, peaking until it's piercing our ears, same as it was in a horror movie. And I really hope that they stay on this road. Everything else can just be an action game. But this is already perfect. There is no need to explain what it wants or what it is, more than it's just it. But maybe it'll be hard to do since the plot needs to go forward. But I genuinely wish that while we move forward, everything else that leads to it will just be a dead end. It doesn't need to be the criminal mastermind behind all like a god who's been there since the beginning of time, it just needs to be there, always there. Not as a perpetrator, but as a persistent watcher. Its motivation, unknown. Its power, limitless. Its role in the workings of this world, nothing and everything. <laughs>